Hello and welcome back guys to the sky coding. So in this video we are going to see another full stack project which is having front end and back end both. And this is the project which is based on the grocery store. So now first of all uh, let's see the interface of our uh, project that uh, how the website looks, the grocery store, how the interface looks. After that we will uh, show you some of the code. So without wasting any time let's move to our web page. So guys you can see this is our interface as our project is running on an spring boot you can see on the taskbar my spring boot project is running I will show you that uh, later on. So this is the main interface of our website you can see these are social links which are given here and whenever uh, you will uh, click on any of the link it will uh, redirect to their uh, pages suppose that uh, you click on the instagram so it will uh, redirect to the instagram page and when you click on the whatsapp then it will uh, redirect to the whatsapp and whenever you will click on this gmail then it will re redirect to the mail uh, app whatever you are using in your mobile phone or in your, uh, on your pc so these are the first uh, this is an header part and this is uh, order now and this is a customer care number you can say it is given and whenever you will click here then it will redirect to a call uh, that uh, how can you call on that app it will redirect so this is just the sorting which i have used here so you can search the product here according to your needs and this is the logo of our website and uh, th these are some of the options which are given and this is the card page you can see shopping cart is empty so these are all products which are available so guys now i want to tell you one most important thing of our project as in our website we are having two modules first module is of admin module and the second one is customer module as you all know about customer and admin module that what are the admin what are the functionalities of admin and what are the functionalities of the customer so guys first of all let's see the customer module and after that we will see the features of the admin model so guys let's go so first of all let's see the home page so you can see these are the banners and this is the carousel which i have used here these banners will change automatically i want to show you that how many banners which i have used so you can see these are three banners which i have used here this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one these are i have used so these you can see that these are our products which i have used here and from uh, this is uh, something about website which is written free shipping fast delivery and heat saving and this is the footer part and this is the one emoji i have used it is not showing in the uh, good hair it is jumbled i think so you can change that accordingly i will change this in the code so this is the footer part which is uh, written here so now let's move to a second all products so these are the products which i uh, which are shown here this is the uh, product name and this is the mrp price and this is the uh, uh, that uh, price that you can see selling price is given here and you can add to cart or buy now and this is the quick view option is also given here with when you click on the quick view option then it will uh, show you as a zoomed picture here as it is available in the amazon also you can uh, search on the amazon and you will find there that uh, this feature is given to the amazon also so this is all about this and we will do check out later on so first of all uh, now uh, let's see our, our uh, another feature this is an about store means about uh, the shop it is given and this is about store and uh, this is that uh, what we do we guarantee you the best this is something which is uh, written about our website and this is uh, our vision and these are the things which i have written here now uh, let's see the contact us please here from here you can contact the shop the, uh, this is the address of the shop and this is the number which is given and this is the email of the that shop and you can fill this form and this will go to the database that uh, whatever user have written this will go to the admin and he will see that what the customer wants to see so this is login and this is register page so first of all let's register and see that this feature is working in our website or not or we are getting any error so first of all let's uh, do register I have clicked on the register thing so it is asking for the name I am giving my name as Seba and I am giving email as sky2 at the rate gmail.com uh, it is uh, gmail.com and after that I have to give the password I am giving 12345 and this is the phone number 
I am given uh, something phone number here. This is not my number. I am given randomly any number. And this is for gender. And this is a pin code. I am giving any. And this is address which I am giving Lucknow. And uh, let's uh, register. Guys, I have used validation in our website. That's why I have written firstly uh, one two three four five. And so that you you have to give the password of bigger than six digits. So I have given one two three four five. Six. So now let's uh, do register. So you can see it is uh, registered. So now let's uh, do login. It is it is already login when you do register. So it is already login and it is showing that hi Sivam and this is the customer order order section and this is the order and card section which is available here so you can see there is no card items it is showing and this is uh, my order section orders these are the some of the features which are available for the customer and customer can change the password or this is the customer account you can see so now first of all uh, let's purchase one product and let's see that uh, is we are able to purchase the item or not so now uh, let's add this to cart suppose that i want to purchase this in two quantity so you can see if you see if we are increasing the quantity num quantity number then it will uh, automatically increase the price of that product suppose that you can see that i am purchasing two quantity and it is uh, showing 284 price so uh, i am changing it to the three so you can see it is automatically increased four to six okay so now let's uh, save it to the cart and again uh, let's uh, load more items and uh, i have added only these items in the website so that's why it is showing only these items you can add another products this is the only dummy thing i have made you can add more products uh, to show you i have added uh, these items only and guys here it is not showing the image because i think i haven't added the image of this product so that's why it is showing here so let's uh, add this to the card so this is also added to the card so now let's uh, see our card that uh, what are the things in the card so guys you can see this is the serial number one and this is in the third three quantity and the total price is in the total price they suppose that i want to uh, remove this one so you can uh, are you sure want to remove this item this is the pop-up will which will show to the customer and you can okay so this will be removed from your card you can see the message comes so now this is the saving so now this is the address which is automatically taken from your account which you have given on the register page so this is the cod credit card online banking you can see so at this time only cash on delivery is available so that's why it is showing like that only guys i haven't used any of the payment gateway such as razor pay or paytm phone pay. i haven't used any of the payment gateway here so it is uh, not asking for that you can uh, use uh, that one also you can use that things in the our website so this is the only dummy which i have used so let's uh, buy this so guys you can see thank you for your order click here to send the bell so guys here i have used that smtp that is uh, mail server of the java uh, that is spring boot so that's why i uh, it will send the, the mail to your uh, gmail id that uh, your order will be delivered soon or it will give you some date that uh, uh, it will send you the confirmation mail basically so i have used the mail also mail server also so guys this is all about our first module that is the customer module and we have seen that we are able to purchase the orders without getting any of the error and you can see these are the queries which are fired in the sts console according to the user that which options user is clicking and which product user is seeing so these are the queries which is fired here and i will give you the code don't worry so this is all about our first module so now let's move to our second module that is admin module and which is very important for our website so guys without admin our website can't run in the very convenient way so that's why admin is very important for our website so now let's move to our admin page so for admin let's give the url as admin and after that uh, it is asking for the admin login so guys for the admin module i have given the, uh, the password as uh, that email as the sky coding and password i have given which is in the database you can change this according to your needs so you can see that i have logged into the admin and you can see these are the pro features which are available for the admin this is the admin home page and guys you can see these are the orders 
these are the order which i have purchased i as i have shown you that at this this is number which i have given and this is the product which i, I have purchased from the customer and this is showing in the admin module so you admin can deliver or uh, cancel the actions from here so suppose that ad, admin wants to deliver so this uh, status will be changed to the deliver so this is admin has delivered this item order status change to the delivered okay so guys you can see this is the header part of the admin module admin can view the products add the products from here and admin can view all the orders view all pending orders view the delivered orders and admin can see their customers and this is for the admin password and admin account this is so now first of all let's explore this view products and add products option so you can see these are the products which is available to the admin and admin from here admin can edit the password and admin can uh, remove any of the products suppose that i want to remove this product okay so now let's uh, do this cross button and are you it is asking are you sure want to delete this product so here you will give okay and now you can see product removed successfully so by this way, admin can edit the product and see the product for adding the product admin can add the product also to the website so uh, let's click on the add product so you can see this is the page which is showing to the admin and here admin can give the name and here admin have to uh, give the image from here admin can give the image and these are the things which is uh, user admin have to give and this is the active active and the suppose that the product is available to the website or not so this is the status of that product so guys here uh, that image will go to the spring boot code in the resources folder where so this is the uh, backend part uh, which i will explain you in the spring boot code whenever i will explain you the code of this so that's uh, that's the different thing i will uh, show you that thing later on so th by this way admin can add the products and this is the order space you admin can see the orders you can see this is status i have changed and this is changed to the deliver okay and this is uh, is still pending this is the customer section from here admin can see the customer that how many customers are registered to the website so you can see these are the two customer which are registered to the website and this is the admin account so these are the things which are available to the admin admin features admin can do lot of things add add orders and this is the customer success so so this is all about the interface of our project which i have made this is a grocery store and one more important thing guys i want to tell you one trick you can change this project according to your need suppose that it is a grocery store you can change it to your e-commerce to web e-commerce clothing website or you can change it to medical website or you can change this to spare parts website you can change it to according to your needs and uh, suppose that you want to change so you can add suppose that you want to change it to the clothing store okay so in place of these uh, products uh, suppose that uh, i want to show you the products so let's uh, go to the customer so you can see suppose that these are the products which are available so you can remove these products and you can add cloths here shoes here so you can see modify the code according to your needs okay so this is not a very difficult thing you can change this according to your needs so this is all about this project i hope guys you will definitely like this project and i will give you this project on the github account and you can visit our github account and you can download this code from here and if you are facing any problem in running this project in your system you are facing any type of problem suppose that your maven dependencies are not installing or any type of problem which you are facing you can contact to me you can comment down in the comment section or you can visit to my instagram which will be given the description box you can dm me there and i will definitely help you there so this is all about this project i hope guys you will like this and uh, for the code section i will make some different video and where i will show you that uh, how can you install this project uh, in your uh, system and if you are facing any of type of problem then i will explain you that thing also and for the code understanding i will make some different different videos where you can understand the different different modules easily that how the data flowing in our website so that's all is the different thing i will show you these 
things in some other video so, th so this is the video where i have shown you that uh, how the project looks like so this is all about that thing you can uh, i want to show you some little bit code only also so guys uh, you can see this is the code and these are the as you can see these are the jsp pages and these are the controllers i want to show you the controller so you can see this is the controller entity exception so this is the code i will show you uh, i will give you this code uh, you can understand this code from my github account or i will make the videos on that also so you can understand from there so guys this is all about this project i hope guys you will definitely like this project so thank you for watching this video meet you soon in the next very interesting project and guys we will come again with uh, some different projects and you can visit to our channel and you can visit to the playlist where you will find various these are the full stack projects which will definitely help you in your colleges or in getting the internship you can use these projects for your resume which will definitely help you for the jobs also so thank you guys for watching this video bye and take care of yourself if you like this video please hit the subscribe button thank you guys